jazz dance thing it's not you know it's a very small little scene that survives with some of the original dancers and then some some new school ones as well and you know little things happening here and there you know and uh, we've been lucky to, enough to do these these parties at Dingwalls once once a year for the last few years we've got another one coming up in a few uh, in a couple of months and um and, and it's great to do those things because I mean when when, when I you know when we do get a chance to play jazz and certainly at Dingwalls it, it feels so good again and uh, for me there's, there's nothing better. Um, a few other things going on you know in London there's the electric ballroom and all that kind of thing and the, and the dance scene and what have you but it wasn't until Dingwalls that it really started to get more noticed outside you know yeah. suddenly there was a there, it was it was making waves it was doing something that was really interesting. Yeah. I mean, that was the whole acid jazz era and everything like that, which is all very confusing now. I think when people look back on that history and they look back on that and they go, Dim Walls, acid jazz, and I don't know what kind of picture they get out of it, get out of it. But I think really it was just one of those things that if you were there, you knew what it was like, you know. Jazz on the road.
Jazz on the Road.